Now to more Oklahoma. Funerals for the victims and the massive cleanup effort for Monday's deadly tornado will continue through the holiday weekend. And among the thousands of residents beginning to pick up their pieces of their lives, a Northeast Ohio native who survived the twister. News Channel 5's Dave Arnold has our story. I looked over in that direction and I saw approximately 1,000 to 2,000 feet the debris. And then I said, oh crap, this is... This just ain't a lot of high wind. Charles Maloney lost his house in ground zero, like most of his neighbors. He's lived here a long time, but those lines hung up to dry out his clothes were learned somewhere else. Well, I remember in Maple Heights that we um, um, set up clothes lines, and um, that's how we dried clothes. My, that's what we did. Learn that in Maple Heights? In Maple Heights, Ohio, where I grew up. Charles amazingly survived by finding this small closet, then using a mattress over himself to protect from debris. But that mattress was over you? That was over me. I pulled that out. So, yeah, it uh, provided the uh, enough protection that when the debris, I imagine that if I didn't have that, I'd probably have been seriously injured. Moore's neighborhoods are devastated, but many have family to help out. Charles' family is mostly in Ohio, so he's grateful to have help stop by. It makes a difference because it's a, it's a very difficult time for people to. I, I, I don't feel like it's because I don't have a family and, and they, they don't, you know. It, but the, uh, there's uh, um, li the lives are so disrupted. Volunteers are everywhere, from everywhere. This young man is from Chardon, Ohio, working with Carla Smith, a local from Norman, with Operation Blessing. We've shared some hugs. Yeah. We have shared some hugs, some smiles, and some tears, and and some prayers, and that's what makes it all worthwhile. Monday, I was laying around in bed taking a nap and thinking, well, we're going to go get eat tonight and watch some TV, and, you know, and the rest of the week is chaos. On your side in Moore, Oklahoma, I'm Dave Arnold.